Hi Apple Tool here and today I'm going to show you guys how to recover lost pictures, text, data, notes, any inf important information that you guys have lost you can now recover it very easily with a software which I'm going to show you guys. The only requirement is to have a computer or a Windows or Mac computer and to also have an iPhone, iPad and iPod touches works on iOS 7 up to iOS 8, 9 and iOS 10 working betas. So now let's get on to the video and show you guys how to get the software and how to recover your lost data. Okay, so now that I'm on my computer, let's first show you guys the website and how, where to get it. So the name is Wondershare Doctor Phone. It's an iPhone data recovery as I mentioned. It, it is a paid software, but it also has a trial version which allows you to preview what pictures or what data you can re recover, but it won't let you to recover any data but it will only allow you to see. So you need to buy it if you want to recover those data. So now let's see what it can do for us. So there's scan device, extract from iTunes and download iCloud. The top favorite for me is scan device and extract iTunes. And also that supports iPhone, iPad and iPod touches that I have mentioned before. And it also support the file types, it's contacts, photos, WhatsApp, mass messages and many more. And the system requirement as I mentioned is a computer OS, so which is a Windows 10, 8, 7 or Wistar XP, there's also Mac and there's also Windows XP as I mentioned. So as to show you guys this software got about 2573 five star reviews which is a shocker which shows how good this software is and now I already have got the software downloaded and let's show you guys how to recover the data. So as you can see here is the software itself, let's go ahead and open it. You get a pop-up, click on yes. Okay, so once you have the software turned on, what I want you guys to do first is go ahead and connect your device to the PC as I mentioned. So how you do that is just use the USB cable which comes with any iPhone, iPad or iPod touches and just connect it to the device very easily with that lightning cable. Once you connect the device, it has to find your device and mention it or show it in this screen. So as you can see, it's right now connecting to my device. Let's just give it a moment until it finds my device and connect it. So now as it, you can see it says connected to the device and now it will show what it can recover. So first thing first, it will mention like this is what iPhone it is. So I'm using my iPhone 6 now. So the first thing is recover from iOS device. So let's go ahead and recover some, uh, some data. So I don't want to recover everything, but let's recover the messages, recover some contacts, call histories notes, messages, attachment, not that. Let's recover photos, that's very important, app photos. And let's see, app videos are also good too. Let's go ahead and start scan it. And as you can see, it won't take much time, but it's just based on how much data you have lost, it will take time. So let's see how much data it can recover for us. And I'll be right back with you guys once this finishes recovering all my data. That Okay, so as you can see, uh, it did take about five minutes to recover all the data on the iPhone. So as you can see right now on the screen, there's the photos, which I didn't have any recovered photos from my device. There was app photos, about 1,409 photos. That's pretty amazing. That's recovered all of them. There was app videos, there was messages, message attachments. There was 205 contacts called histories notes and note attachment and the reason I might not show them is because there is private data which I do not intend to show you guys but you get my point that it works perfectly it will show you 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 can go ahead and try it for yourself and see my point that it does work so this was with the iPhone data recovery there is the next one what you need to do is you have to have an iTunes backup which I as I mentioned I do not have any on my device but you can go ahead and select one for yourself we can recover and the last one is going to be sign in iCloud which I think it's okay it's not that perfect it's not the best but if you like to also recover from iCloud you do have that option you sign into your Apple ID enter your password and you get to recover any data using iCloud but just from backup files so how does this happen unfortunately right now on my laptop I don't have any iTunes backup but if it will find all, it will mention all of them, the name, the model of the device and the backup when it was done and the serial number and all that. Then if that is the backup that you want to recover, you click on that, you st start scan. Once you start scan, 
it will recover all of them back to your computer and it will also give you an option to recover all back into your device which is a really good method because some people have really important files on their itunes and that was it it was a so that was it with the recovering data method very easy and i hope that you guys have enjoyed that video of mine don't forget to like subscribe if you yet haven't done so and share the video so that other people can also get to know and as always thank you guys for watching the video i apple tour here signing off